real quick speaking of dolls because i love dolls we all know i love dolls <laughs> Well, hello, how are you? I am good, I am good. I am bringing you another Timu haul. I mean, honestly, I just keep saying it every day. <laughs> it's just like, oh my goodness. It's just crazy. I told the, the mail lady the other day, <laughs> cause I knew there was gonna be some big stuff, so. I went out there to, you know, ask if they wanted a water or like a little bit of chips or something like, do you want something? It's starting to get really hot. So I try, if I remember or I'm around to offer them something to drink or like leave like around the time that they come, put like a cold, like ice cold water outside with a snack and a little note. Um, I did that last year when it was getting hot last summer. And it was appreciated by them. And I thought it was just super cute. <laughs> I would have the post person on the camera go, oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> Gypsy's freaking out about something. But anyway. I don't even know what I was talking about no more. So I'm just gonna bring you these little things, these little team things. Oh yeah, that's what I was telling you about the lady. So I was out there offering offering her some water and she was telling me, um, you know, that she had all her stuff and um, thank you, but she had like a big old gallon or whatnot. But she was telling me also that one of her other coworkers had like an air conditioner thing in their mail truck. And I thought that was so funny, like a portable unit. <laughs> Was, she was like, I don't know how, she must have a generator or something. But anyway, that doesn't matter. I was telling her, like, I swear I'm not a hoarder. <laughs> just like, it's been, I mean, I'm coming, I'm coming up, to, I think, to a year of, of having my channel. And I feel, <laughs> I feel like almost every day there's been a delivery. And I just wonder what they think, you know? I swear I'm not a hoarder. I swear, I, you know, a lot of the stuff leaves the house because a lot of it is gifts and things like that. But <laughs> it's just like every day. It's just ridiculous. And today they had to pull up like in into the like far end of the driveway because just stuff stuff i'm overwhelmed with stuff i'm so excited to be moving up to the studio and have more space so i can be more organized with the stuff anyway okay that's not what you're here for we're already in three minutes this i got this i got this i got this i got so i want to open all the gods so let's do them We'll start with, I guess, the smallest. We'll go like small to big. How about that? I didn't look, I'm not gonna look at the prices, but I will put them on the screen for you. Ugh. I didn't even bring my scissors over here. Well, it all came in a little frosted bag. No, it didn't. I unrolled it and it fell. <laughs> it was just, Wrapped. Okay, Timu. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever. All right. I feel like that bag was dirty. I feel a little grimy. I have a little napkin. A little napkin. I usually have like wet wipes. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's just. This came separate from another order. This is the nail glue that I like for all of you who ask. I get this one all the time. I love it. I also use a brush on one, but this one always holds the longest. Oh. I put some press on toenails on like 
three days ago and they're still on. I was gonna make a post <laughs> with a picture. No, I'm not putting my feet on the internet. I'm not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but they're on and they're cute and they're like French manicure. They're very cute. Um, the toenail has like the, the toenail. Yeah, they're all toenails. GG. The, the big toe has a little heart on the French manicure. It's very cute. Very, very subtle. Very cute. I like it. They make my toenails look all manicured and pretty. Yeah, so we'll see. I may do another set eventually, but I wanted to update you. So this is the glue. This is the glue for all of you who ask. Okay, so that had one thing. Let's get into the next. No team blue bag this time. Okay. What is that? I don't know. What is this? What is it? I don't know. I think it's the pure oh okay i was watching just jen do y'all watch her if you don't you should because she's funny she reminds me of a barbie doll and she picks the cutest decor <laughs> like i love farmhouse um i don't decorate a lot with farmhouse because my husband is not a fan but I do settle little things. And like she just did this mystery swap with this other creator who is so cute, by the way. And I can't, oh, I can't remember her name. But I'll probably put her at um, in the video um, or in the description box. And, and just Jen's too, so you can find their channels. But Jen had received in the swap the same tear trade that I hauled like a while back, but in the white rustic color. Oh my God. Anyway, Jen has great taste. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so go check her out. Okay. So I was watching her and she wears a lot of wigs. If you already watch her, you know that. Um, but you know, she was talking about, you gotta like shampoo your wigs and this, that, and the other. So I've been buying more wigs. I guess I should start shampooing some. <laughs> Try me goo. What's this? It's so small. I have to wear. I have to wear my spectacles. Where are they? Oh, just throw empty bags on them. Gigi, it's okay. It's all right. All right. Let me see. Oh, it's a pretty necklace. I was pretty sure that this was moissanite. But is it though? I mean, I can't even read the tag. <laughs> like the tag is so fake. Hold on. I'm gonna get my camera on my phone out. I'm gonna see if I can tell what that says. I don't know. I can't, I can't read it. It's not, I think it says moissanite, but it's like really faded, you guys. Um, but it didn't come with a GRA or anything like that. I remember it was not very, like it wasn't high price. Did my camera move? I don't even know. Is it blurry? Oh, everything is a mess. Okay, we'll just move it. Um, so I don't know. I'll use my little checker on it eventually, but it's super pretty. It's very shiny and it's two carats. I mean, it's really shiny. I like it. I think it's pretty and it was not very expensive like not even a little bit what is that is there a tag on there oh no it was like twisted okay there is a lot of shine on that that's pretty though 
Yeah. Um, but no certificate. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. I mean, it's not bad. I still like it. Okay. Just a couple things. There's that. Oh, this is like vintage ephemera. I think, I think it was like a pack of vintage ephemera. Look at a plus though for the packaging. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's legit like an old envelope, like not a legit old envelope, but like just the way they package it like an old envelope. Oh, I have to like rip into the envelope to open it. Oh, fail. <laughs> to me, that's a packaging fail. This would have been so much cuter if you could just open it. So you can use the envelope. You know what I mean? I'm going to still attempt. To not. <laughs> it's a very. Okay. My hair. Is like. <laughs> flying. On my nose. Like constantly. My nose is sensitive. Okay. I think. I think I did it. Gone. I did it. <laughs> I mean. I'm a pro. Look at all that stuff. Look at all of that. <laughs> I love stuff. Okay. I love. Oh. <laughs> I already love the way everything looks. Oh, this, I missed a couple things. Okay. Oh my goodness. You guys, this is cool. If you like vintage, like ephemera stuff, you'll love this. Like, look at this. And it's like a different feeling. Look at even the bag. Like, you don't even have to do anything. You don't have to do a thing to it. This is just like everything is done. So these can be in like the the pile for that, when you need that last punch, you know? Oh, that's so cool. I just, I can't, these are so cute. I'm so glad I got these. That's the best feeling. <laughs> I remember when I first started shopping on Timu and I was just getting a lot of craft stuff for the journals because I had some like people that I've been making them for, um, for gifts or whatnot and for a couple orders. And I was just buying supplies on Timu. But when I decided to start hauling on camera, <laughs> what I, cause I was buying a lot and I was so excited is the whole point of me telling you this is I was just so excited with everything that I was getting. Like it, was inspiring me. It was making me crafty. My stomach just went <laughs> like telling me to shut up or something. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> this is what it feels like. It's giving me that nostalgic feeling of like, oh my gosh, these are so exciting. These are so fun. I love the way they feel. I like the way they sound. I love the way they look. These are just so cute. Like I'm, I'm sitting here showing you everything and you probably don't care. There's so much, I can't do all of them, but like, look at it. There's just so stinking much. Like how freaking cute is all that, you guys? If you're a crafter, I definitely would say I recommend this. Absolutely. This makes me want to sit up and craft tonight, but also no, because that's a lot. But look, and now I opened it up so good, I could, I could still, st it's still got some sticky, and I can pull the bag up. <laughs> and then you can use everything from the front too. Oh, and I, I just love that the envelope is like prepared and ready to be used as well. So I approve. I approve. Oh, I'll put you back in your little bag. I was like, what is that? It's, it's bad. 
Now I want to be crafty. Which reminds me, if you didn't see my community post with a shared poll, go do that. I made a new channel that's going to be just for my crafts. I'm so excited. Oh, it's all bent. It's a canvas. So we can work with that still, but eh, I don't usually get bent canvases, you know, but that's okay. It's got the foam in them. <laughs> they tried. They tried. Okay. It's really taped. Hold on. I'm so curious what this is. I've been buying a couple, or I bought, yeah, I have a few. Oh, actually, I have one over there. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. That's one of them. I have a few that I'm getting for when the living room turns into the library. And I told you that it's going to lean more in the realm of dark academia kind of style, but with a lot of like the vintage and then warm tones, like, you know, like the candlelight tones and things like that with dark green is the main like library color. Anyway, I got this Henry the Eighth. His son, who passed, and his daughter, Queen Elizabeth. I just thought that was really cool. And as far as I know, from our family tree, our lineage crosses paths with them. So Queen um, Elizabeth is like the great, great 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 whatever aunt I believe right is that what it would be because our direct line is not Anne Boleyn but her sister yeah mm -hmm. so her Anne Boleyn's sisters lying down so I just thought it would be neat to have you know, if it's true, cool, <laughs> even better. But I've always been drawn to like the Bolin family and stuff from a young age. So I thought that that was really interesting when I was doing all of our family research many, many, many years ago. And I just started seeing like royal crests and I had remember my mom talking about finding the royal crest of our family after her dad had passed. So, anyway, that's why I got that. And I got a couple other ones. I think one other one is on the way, and I got one over there as well. But I guess I'll we'll save for another one, although I kind of want to open it. Okay, well, so, <laughs> um, I saw these on, I saw this on, not this exact one, but on uh, Hey Everybody. And I had to see for myself if it was really a Stanley or not. So it comes from a local warehouse. I think it was like $30, which I mean, I think when they go on sale, they can get that low, so maybe. But we'll see if I can open it. It's even got like the little Stanley stickers. And the weird thing was with this, okay, let me tell you, I ordered this a, a while ago. Not longer than the guarantee, the shipping guarantee, but um, almost. Shipping guarantee would end tomorrow. And then they would have to give me five dollars. This didn't tell me that it shipped until like I had a text at like five o'clock this morning that this shipped. And then like at nine something I had a text that it was delivered. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> but um, so if you have things that say processing for a really long time, I guess just hold tight. Because maybe it's a glitch or something. Okay, so it comes with a straw. 
right here. It comes with the Stanley booklet thing. So there's that. Comes all wrapped. Yes, I got this green color because it's fantastic. And then it's got the green. Comes with the Stanley everything. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's better than 60 that you see. Ounce. has all the stuff on it you guys that's the top just screams summer to me that's that so I had to give it a shot at I why not you know and I like that it's got that on the top that's always so when I'm looking at the ones that are not Stanley the, the dupe I guess um I hate it when they don't have that. So, there it is. I thought this would match my car. <laughs> All my decor. <laughs> I mean, you know? Anyway, so there's that. She's pretty. She's pretty. It was really a Stanley cool. I'm glad I didn't spend a gazillion dollars on it. There's so many different colors, but I think to myself, like, I already have, like, a black, not real Stanley, but, you know, in the style of Stanley one. And then I have, in the 40 size, and then I have the, um, like, the 20, I think, it's a 20 ounce, I don't remember. But now I have that one, and I think that's enough cups you know um okay so I already know what this is this is a special delivery she came by C just for me <laughs> and I got something for her that I'm going to add to this so that's done I have been waiting so long for her I swear it's been over a month. I could be totally off, but it sure feels that way. Okay, so it's like the little booklet that they gave me before, but it's got a different baby. It's actually got a baby that I have. I have the one in the purple, and she is adorable. Absolutely adorable. And then it comes with a little bottle, which, I mean, I think, hey, everybody said that she donates them. I think that's a great idea, because I don't need it. <laughs> and then the baby comes all wrapped, and then it's got its little, I think the birth certificate is very floppy. She's full silicone. Yeah, it's a little birth certificate. And that's not the baby's beauty either. Okay, let's get her untaped. Maybe. I might have to just pull it off because it's wrapped a little crazy. It's like super tightly wound with the tape. There we go. Now, I don't like her outfit, so I have another outfit that I purchased a while back to match with the other baby's outfits. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh, she's heavy. I love when they're weighted, too. Let me just adjust her little, her little outfit. Oh, she is so cute. Look at her. <laughs> her outfit's like a little swimsuit. Looks like she has a little diaper on underneath. Look at her, you guys. Ta-da! Look at that. Hello. <laughs> and then she's very, very blushed. Her little fingers. 
No white tips on the toes, but I don't care. That's okay. My little feet. Ugh, what is my light doing? <laughs> it doesn't know what to do. Stop it. Look at the, oh my God, look at the little rolls. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she is so stinking cute. Okay, so because uh, I need this back, I'm gonna lay her on her phone. And I brought ooh, the baby bag. This has all like the reborn baby stuff including her new little outfit and then the powder oh powder brush the powder okay and so this is a powder that i bought it was pretty expensive, but it's highly recommended. And it's called Silicone Velvet. It is not on Timu. It is from another seller that was like really hard to find. But I'm just gonna do a little dusting of powder on her. And then get her in her new clothes. I'm just putting some of the powder on the foam. Ooh, don't stick to the and I'm gonna take off her stuff. She's got her little a little spot where they do the pour. Oh my goodness, she is so stinking cute. Oh my god, the diaper goes all the way up like a dress. Little baby. That's cute. Okay, no diaper for you. We gotta powder you. That's the powder, the baby. Ah. Okay. I got this brush off of Tino, I think. Just a little rose. And I thought it would be so cute for the baby powder. I got that a while back. It was only like a dollar. So I'm just powdering her lightly. I'm just all over her little body. And what this does is it just makes the silicone super soft and things won't stick to the silicone, you know. And that's it, that's all you do. And then I'm gonna get her dressed and then I'll show you how cute she looks. And she's, oh, by the way, if you were wondering, she is anatomically correct, which is why I'm not lifting up. But yeah, the silicone velvet powder supposedly like doesn't wear on the paint over time like other things. Oh my god, the wrinkles on her little feet are adorable. I'll show you when she's covered appropriately. <sighs> I just thought she was so cute with this little laughy face. She is very well painted. I think she's absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited. She's been here, I think like a week and I have been dying to open her. But I had other things to do. Get her little face and her head. The only thing that would have been cuter is if she had a little bit of hair. <laughs> I want to get one that's got like rooted hair. I think that would be super cute. As long as it's nice, you know, I don't want some messed up hair. <laughs> She's got a little seam along her back. From the mold process, I assume. She 
She's got some glitter on her from her little outfit. <laughs> glitter on a baby. It's on the, um, what's it called? The foam that she's wrapped in. I'm gonna put a little bit more on the back of her neck. And I was just exhaling as I was spreading it because it was in the air. And I don't know. I don't want to breathe it in, you know, if I can avoid it. I'm trying to avoid it. Okay, close that. Um, but yeah, I, I like the silicone velvet so far. I think it has worked nicely. Okay, let's put your diaper back on, little mams. She's cute, you guys. I love her little brown eyes. The other one I have has blue eyes. And then the other one has closed eyes. <laughs> Going for it all here. These diapers are so big. But I'll keep it on her. It'll look cute with the clothes. I think. I need to get her some socks. I keep forgetting. I need to wash my hands. I need to wash my hands. Put her old outfit in here. And I got this mustard yellow because it's just so cute. And this color looks really good on my third grandchild. I mean, that, all of them all look good in all the colors, but I, I was just stunned at just how beautiful she was in that color. So I got that for this doll. So I thought, oh, with the brown eyes, it would look so cute with this color. So we'll give it a go. And plus she was already in like a gold. So this has that warmth of gold, but it's, and it's a little warmer tone than the gold outfit was. Goodness, we gotta hurry up. We gotta hurry up. I'll probably end up speed through, speeding through the powdering to make it a little faster because nobody's gonna wanna watch all this. And I understand. But she's just so cute. I figured might as well get her all done up so you can see what I do and what I've been doing to the dolls that I get. Because I just don't do it on camera. Oh my god, her little feet are so cute. This is so big on her. And I think this is what size? Zero to one month. So she would probably fit in a preemie outfit. But I can solve that problem and I could probably sew it if I wanted to but it's the outfit says hi I'm new here this hat is gonna be massive a little bonnet oh that's right never mind no 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 I got her a little bonnet because I knew that that was gonna be massive I got her this little lace one <laughs> this is gonna be big too oh my goodness they're all so big but that's okay She's going to look so cute. And I can kind of, with these bonnets, I can kind of tie, hopefully, it tight enough to kind of hold the top, maybe. She looks like a little babushka. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know if this bonnet will work, but it'll do for now. It's not really what I was thinking, but it's okay. Hold it back a little bit. I wish I had socks for her, but I do not. Maybe I'll put on her mittens on her feet, like little shoes. I think that's a good idea. But first, you wanna see her little foot? Look at the wrinkles. <laughs> ah, it's so cute. Okay. I don't know why I didn't think about this before, but I'll put her little hand things on her little feetsies. And there she is. Look at how cute she looks. She looks like a babushka, huh? Like a little granny. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> and it says, hi, I'm new here. And then the 
feet with the little hand covers. She is adorable, you guys. She's gonna look so cute, but she is not gonna fit in that little cradle. So I'm gonna have to readjust them. She is just precious, you guys. Real quick, speaking of dolls, cause I love dolls. We all know I love dolls. <laughs> I found this when I was rambling around with my mother-in-law at one of the antique shops. Elizabeth Taylor. Oh, look at her. She is so pretty, you guys. $15. Her box is battered up. She's not collector's, uh, you know, or anything like that. But she comes with her little stand and her shoes and like the certificate of authenticity the back of her stand so you can have her out of the box but like look at her she even got her lavender eyes her purple eyes i've always loved barbie and i used to collect them and then I was just like, well, you know, I'm, I'm never going to like sell them and I want to enjoy them. So I did, you know, but like, I mean, most of them I've kept in the box, but I would take them out and I would look at them, but I would try to keep them all really nice. But then it opened up a whole new world for me where I could buy things that are um, maybe not in collector's condition. And it can, you know, save me a little money and I can still enjoy some of the things that I like. And I had never seen this before. And I love like the old vintage Hollywood. And I was told when I was younger that I looked like a young Elizabeth Taylor, minus the violet eyes and the cool double lashes that she was blessed with. <laughs> anyway, I just want to show you all that. I thought that was a good find, $15. <laughs> Every time I see dolls like that, they're like 40, 50. So I was stoked. I was like, mm, mine, mine. I mean, that's all there is to it. So <laughs> just wanted to share. I love it. Okay, that's it. That's all I have. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I did. I enjoyed this one. This was fun. I was getting a little nostalgic of the olden days. The olden days. Okay. Anyway, I hope you're having a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening. It is like 11 p.m. here. <laughs> Whatever it is, wherever you are, I hope you make it a happy one, a restful one, and maybe a little bit of some sweet nostalgia. What? Yeah. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye for now. Ah, oh, she lost her foot there.